Hey guys, my name is Simsy. How are you all doing? Welcome back to some more FIFA 16 Super League Career Mode. We're playing as Manchester United. This is episode 11. In today's episode, guys, we signed two new players. Philip Lahm, we finally get the deal wrapped up and underway. And we also bring back one of my favorite players for Manchester United. I'm so disappointed that we sold him in real life. We're bringing back the little P. We're bringing back Chicharito. Javier Hernandez from Bayern Leverkusen. I'm sure he can come fresh off the bench for us. The impact sub the super mexican can score some goals for us in today's episode guys we have a match against atletico madrid at old trafford and you guessed it we're playing in the piss pouring rain once again which is unfortunate guys we've officially signed philip Lahm, 32 years of age 87 overall i love matteo damien in career mode he's got a great potential and in real life he's very very good at going forward however he doesn't have the stats like philip Lahm. he's got 90 balance 90 reactions 93 interceptions 95 slide tackling he's just insane we're only playing one season in this super league career mode we need players for the now we we're getting a plus six rating up over Matteo Damia. Matteo Damian's an 81 right back. Now we've got Philip Lahm who's an 87. We've got David Alaba who's 86 and we've also got Eric Bay and Smalling in the back line in David De Gea and we've strengthened our side very very well. So we've signed Philip Lahm We've also signed Gareth Bale in this transfer window. We also have transfer deadline day in January, and I really can't wait to see. There are some huge, and I mean huge, transfers between the clubs. Now, we're currently negotiating with Bayer Leverkusen to get the services of Javier Hernandez, which we do 20, 27 years of age, 82 overall. But guys, let's now have a look at the league table in the Super League career mode. We're currently going to offer Sergio Romero plus 22 million. We just don't have enough to buy him outright. Insigne has left Napoli for 17 million pounds to join Bayern Munich, which is huge for Insigne. Uh, what else are some other big signings here? Jones has signed for AS Monaco. Uh, what else is going on here now? Adnan has joined Barcelona, of course. Bruma has joined Leicester, and uh, we're coming to the last nine hours. So, let's have a quick look at the league table. I'm currently first with 51 points. Bayern Munich is second with 40 points. Atletico Madrid is third with 39 points. Barcelona are fourth with 38 points. Borussia Dortmund are fifth with 34 points. Same with Juventus, sixth with 34 points. And Tottenham Hotspur are seventh with 33 points. Thomas Muller is the top goal scorer of the uh, Super League with 12 goals, followed by Edison Cavani on 10 and Neymar with 10 as well. We're only 11 points clear of uh, Bayern Munich. Unfortunately, we lost our first match of the series. We have been drawing a lot of matches, though, however, but we lost our first match, Gareth Bale's debut in the last episode. But, guys, we have officially signed Javier Hernandez. Chitarito is back at the club, and I'm so, so happy. Three-star week for three-star skill moves, which is just mad. He definitely should have 4-4. Obviously, this is when he was playing at United, his rating. He's been playing so well for Bayern Leverkusen. I'm so disappointed that we let him go. He really is the real-life Santiago Munez. Played for Manchester United, played for United. Obviously, Munez played for... Um, Newcastle then moved to Real Madrid and uh, well now he plays for behind Leverkusen. That's not too much a part of the story but uh, he is close enough to a real life Santiago Munez. What, if you don't know what I'm talking about it's the goal movies if you haven't seen them in a while. Liverpool win the race for Hamshik from Napoli. What a good signing for Liverpool. They've done really well. It's interesting to see. Obviously, I've put the 53 transfers in real life. So I've put them in, and not only have we got the 53 transfers, we have the July, August, and January transfer windows, and teams are splashing the cash left, right, and center. And Bayern Munich are mounting a huge offensive. They've signed Ozil for £57 million. Pounds. Arsenal have sold to Bayern Munich. That's just nuts. Manchester City have sold Sergio Aguero to Real Madrid, who are not doing very well in the Super League. I can't sell Sam Johnson now that we've let go Sergio Romero. I'm obviously using David De Gea week in, week out. And, I, yeah, I didn't really need Sergio Romero. I wanted the money. I needed a player plus cash. Isco looks like he quite, it could go to PSG Paris Saint-Germain. But Gareth Bale is the top signing of the window. Any other big signings here? 
Oh my god. Insigne, Ozil, and Damian. Bayern Munich have signed. And Pep Guardiola has signed one of his former players. PK Gerard PK has left Barcelona to join Manchester City, which is incredibly interesting. But on that note, guys, it is time to end the transfer deadline day here. Let's move on to the match now uh, against PSG, Paris Saint-Germain. Angel Di Maria facing his former side. We've also got to look, and uh, Zlatan as well. Napoli, Bayern Leverkusen, and CSK Moscow in dangerous trouble there. Guys, let me know in the comment section down below your thoughts and predictions for this series. Who's going to make up the top four? It's been very interesting. Obviously, Borussia Dortmund, Atletico Bayern, uh, Barcelona, Juventus have all been in and out of the top four. It's going to be interesting to see once we We've played the 38 matches. Uh, let's see who uh, PSG are playing. They're playing Krakowiak, Marquisio, Mantuidi, a very, very strong side. Angel Di Maria, Edison Cavani, and Hesse Rodriguez leading the line. They did sign Marquisio in the first transfer window through July and August. So we've got a corner kick here with Marquisio. They signed him from Juventus. Finds Matt Tweedy short and Paul Pogba gets the deflection out. Krikoviak from Sevilla finds Edison Cavani. Lucas on the ball, on the volley, hits the crossbar. It's still 0-0 just before the 54th. Philip Lahm on his debut alongside Javier Hernandez. Couldn't quite link up. Mikatsarian, Chicharito fresh off the bench in the 87th, the super sub. Javier Hernandez, Chicharito makes it 1-0 just before the 87th. Paul Pogba, David Alaba, and Sir, uh, Cristiano Ronaldo, that is, celebrating with him. Javier Hernandez scores his sixth goal in the Super League. His first goal for Manchester United, that is, he scored five for Bayer Leverkusen. Hatton Benarfa finds Edison Cavani. PSG determined to bring it back and nearly at the back post. We managed to get it clear, but thank God we brought back Chitarito. Chicharito, he was he did exactly what we wanted, which is superb. We were currently drawing nil-nil. The match was pretty locked. Fresh off the bench, the Mexican super sub, Javier Hernandez, makes it 1-0, and we claim the three points. That is why we bought him. Philip Lahm had a pretty good debut. Javier Hernandez had an excellent debut, and Gareth Bale is slowly but surely learning the ropes at Manchester United. But guys, I have to end the episode here. Here. Thank you very much for watching. Let me know in the comment section down below your predictions for the Super League. Who's going to make top four? Who's going to be the top goal scorer with the assists and the golden glove as well? That would be quite cool. I'm inc incredibly curious to know, but it's going to be very exciting how this Super League is going to shape up. Guys, I have to end it here. Thanks for watching. If you are enjoying this Super League career mode and would like to see more, the best way for me to gauge that is by you guys leaving a like and a comment. Subscribe if you're new around here. Check out my social media links, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Instagram all in the description below. Make sure to take care of yourselves. Have a fantastic rest of your day and stay tuned for more content on my channel. My name is Ben Simsy. Take care. Goodbye.